Here we are asked to find all of the zeros of x to the fourth plus x cubed plus 7x squared plus 9x minus 18. Notice the leading coefficient is 1, so all of the possible rational zeros are going to be integers. They're going to have to be divisors of negative 18, so plus or minus 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18 are our possibilities. Let's look at the graph. I've already entered it in the y equals screen. Uh, let's go to the window and enter negative 20 and 20 for x min and x max because our largest and smallest possible rational zeros were plus and positive and negative 18. So when we draw the graph, we can see that we do not have uh, zeros at plus or minus 18 or plus or minus 9 or plus or minus 7. Um, I'm sorry, not 7, but uh, 6. Uh, but uh, let's get a better view by going in and entering negative 3 for the, or maybe negative 4, since 3 is one of our possible zeros. So negative 4 and 4 for our x min and x max. And look at the graph again. Whoa. It certainly appears as if we could conjecture that negative 2 and 1 are rational zeros. So we'll test these using synthetic division. So I'll use negative 2 as my first divisor. The coefficients are 1, 1, 7, 9, and negative 18 for the polynomial. 1 is going to be the leading coefficient in our quotient, times negative 2 would be negative 2, add 1 would be negative 1, times negative 2 would be 2, add 7 would be 9, times negative 2 would be negative 18, add 9 would be negative 9, times negative 2 would be 18, and in fact, we do have remainder 0 uh, in this first division. And uh, the 1, negative 1, 9, negative 9 represent coefficients of a third degree polynomial. And so let's take our 1, which we believe is a 0, and use synthetic division uh, on these coefficients from the cubic polynomial. So in our second quotient, 1 will be the leading coefficient, times 1 is 1, add negative 1 is 0, times 1 is 0, add 9 is 9, times 1 is 9, add negative 9 is 0. And so now our quotient has coefficients 1, 0, and 9, it represents the quadratic factor x squared plus 9. We know that if we set this equal to 0, we're going to get x equals plus or minus the square root of negative 9, which is plus or minus 3i. And so our zeros are in fact negative 2, 1, 3i, and negative 3i. The last two are imaginary, the first two are real.